dispose of this annoyance at once. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Dong and Rampa 2. As always, I'm dead. Join me there like a cave. I apologize for the horrors that are on the screen right now. <laughs> <laughs> what, you don't like seeing a crying baby furry saying, ha ha, how sad, get so sad to get used to it? No. <laughs> Alright, well, anyway, back into it. She seems a little tense. Um. Was I Sonia? Yes. Um, did Monokuma bring you here as well, Monim? Yes, I'm so ashamed of myself for getting carelessly tricked by him. <laughs> but you're completely useless, so. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can grow mushrooms. That's something none of us can Are do, they I think. edible? I, I think for the sake of her sanity, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm a failure as a teacher. I have no right to guide everyone. Like nobody here considers you a teacher to begin with. <laughs> but I'm honestly happy that you're here, dude. Huh? Hey, are you like a complete stuffed animal? Is there any party that's left that's still <laughs> rabbit meat? Jesus Christ, girl. <laughs> no. I'm expected to be food. Hey, hey. Um, that was the last report, right? I'm going to go because you guys are all useless. What do you mean all? <laughs> well, you're the traitor. <laughs> oh, this bitch. <laughs> this is what you mentioned earlier, right? About the structure of the funhouse? Let me ask. The structure of the fun house? Well? Well, I've come to a conclusion. I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> the grape tower that we're currently in, and the strawberry tower that we were in earlier, I think they're actually the same building. The two towers are the same building, you say? If only we had some jet fuel. Damn my constipation. <laughs> <sighs> I see. What makes you think that? Right, he's a snake. Their positions? They're 69ing. Well? Inside Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall is on your left when your back is facing the elevator, right? No, left. But inside Grape House, Grape Hall is on your right when your back is facing the elevator left. <laughs> oh, damn it. And so, if we think about it and put those two together, like scissoring, the two towers are the same building, and each house connects to the center. Honestly, it's a little closer to docking than scissoring, but you know. <laughs> That's the building structure that comes to mind. Hmm. What? Strawberry Tower and Great Tower are the same thing? But... but oh, that, sorry. But that might be a possibility. Come on, take a look at the door. Isn't that a strawberry image on... Isn't, this, isn't that strawberry image the same one that's on the elevator and phone? Then, in the same way... Wouldn't that image on the door also be showing where it leads to? Dumbass. If that's the case, it would mean that Strawberry House is beyond the door with the strawberry image on it. Man, I'm a king for stating the obvious. <laughs> Wait, I just realized with your with your fucking voice and the way his eyes go, he's kind of caught from Jungle Book. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. As well as the opposite. The great door that was at the other place would lead here. Meaning we opened the Grey Paul's door when we came in here. Meaning depending on which door we use, this tower changes to either Strawberry Tower or Grape Tower. Perhaps. Which means, when you look at the other side of the Great Hall door that we used to come in here... Yep. Yep, the great picture should actually be on there. 
Wait, what? what? You useless fuck. Did they just have to deduce that in Grape Hall there are only pictures of grapes? <gasps> yes. <laughs> Basically. Basically, like, the thing I love about this segment is, hey, we should repeat the same thing six times, right? Yeah, are you guys ready to talk in a fucking circle? Like, fuck me. Hey. Then all we gotta do is confirm it, right? If we can close that door from the other side... Uh, that might be impossible. Let's not even try, that takes too much energy. Impossible? Why? Dot, dot, dot. Oh, Hajime and Nekamaru were the first ones to enter Great Tower, right? What's wrong with that? Charging up my laser eyes. I'm Charging the traitor. Charging up my fountain nipples. I've always been the traitor. Remember, the fountains are in his eyes. Oh, they're in his eyes? Yeah, remember? What's in his nipples? Uh, I don't know, rockets? I'm thinking of Frankie from One Piece who has uh, nipples. Like, who has, like, like, like high beam nipples? Like, literally, they're flashlights or some shit like that? <laughs> yeah, I think so. God, I love One Piece. Don't worry, guys, I can save us. Let me just look at my shoulders and chase them. <laughs> when you two entered Grape Tower from Grape Hall, didn't it take a little while for the door to open after you pressed the button? Huh? Man, you're just as dumb as I thought. You can't be the traitor. <laughs> so just right, I as I assumed. <laughs> <laughs> just as I assumed. You're too stupid. How'd you know? When I was walking around by myself, I went back to Strawberry House for a while. I felt like there was still something I missed. Maybe, you know, a snack, a video game console. But suddenly... The strawberry hall door automatically closed in front of me. It must have been a ghost. <gasps> g -g 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 ghost? <laughs> Roro Rajime -ro jumps into his arms and crushes him. <laughs> <laughs> the door uh, automatically closed? Yep. That's actually the biggest problem with Dung and Rampa, in my opinion, is they talk themselves into circles a lot. That's most like, visual novel style JRPGs. Everything has to be clarified four times before the reader can understand it. And it's really infuriating. Yeah, like I And afterward, no matter how much I pressed, the strawberry hall door wouldn't open. Like that same problem. And is I'm good at button mashing. That the problem is still there in like fucking Ace Attorney in Persona 4 and uh, probably Persona 3 too. I, I remember a lot of Persona 5, but just like so much of JRPGs is let's just talk in a circle. We've got to hit that 120 hour mark somehow. <laughs> Alright, do you want. Just developers. Alright, do you want to add more dialogue or do you want to add a five hour hallway? No combat. Uh, no combat. No character. Just walking. Dialogue. Definitely you goddamn right dialogue. you do. We get paid by the we get paid by the comma here. <laughs> but why? Perhaps. The door to Strawberry Tower and Great Tower must be designed so that only one can be opened at a time. See? I mean if both doors opened at the same time, we'd easily find out that both towers are the same building. If that happens, it wouldn't be a foon house anymore. It's right? Not, it's not very... Or left. No, right. No, left. It's not very fun to begin with. Nah, it's not a fun house at all. Especially with no food. Yeah. Remember all those fun houses they go to at the carnival where they just have like a... Just like a fucking churro stand in the fun house? Starvation challenge fun house. <laughs> then the reason the strawberry hall door automatically... Wait... I'm literally going to repeat what was just said. Fuck! I, you have demonstrated a recursive. <coughs> you have demonstrated an infinite loop. I must wait for my opponent to concede. Yep. When that happened, the Grape Hall door didn't open because it was waiting for Strawberry Hall doors to close. If you think about it, it makes sense, right? Do you get it? Do, do, you, do you get it yet? 
do, do, do you get do you get do you get it yet? Got it memorized. Like. So you're saying all this hard stuff I don't get. But are you forgetting the most basic problem? Oh my god. Holy shit, woman! <laughs> There's no way to say bell bang. Like, oh my god. Didn't you know? Didn't you notice? They're just lights on the floor, you dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> By reflecting a colored light onto a white wall, it makes it look like the wall's color has changed. Holy shit. Wait. These people are in high school? <laughs> like, the... <gasps> No one. The collective IQ in this room averages at 70. The collective IQ in this room is equal to the number of seeds on the painting of that grape. <laughs> and all of them belong to Chiaki. <laughs> ah, Hajime got a few of them. Okay, yeah, he... He stood... Yeah, he... He stood by when, like... He stood by when they were, like, spraying out the brain cells and got a couple of, like, spl spl like splashback or whatever. Then what about the picture on the floor? Is, is that different too? Maybe the floor is just a screen and the picture's being projected from, you know, below. In fact, when you look closely, it's not a picture that was actually drawn on the floor. I got it. Oh, I see. So it's safe to say they're the same building, right? Yes. Man, I, heard, I cannot fucking land on a voice for her. Uh, this is a very important problem. So, isn't it better if we test it out? Test? <sighs> For example, we should leave something behind here, and we'll all go to Strawberry Tower. Right. And if it's still there, we can conclude that they're the same building, right? I see. Well, I just that? gotta say, this is actually not a bad plan, except for the fact that Monokuma will totally cheat. Absolutely. I honestly expect them to, like, leave Akane here, leave, come back, she's dead. <laughs> Hold on! No, that's impossible. There's a sensor preventing that. Huh? That sensor is my penis. Huh? Senses? Huh? Oh, do you feel it? There are countless sensors plastered all over the tower's walls and floors. <laughs> Why can't you notice them? Okay, I'm actually great. I'm actually grateful this this came up here. That's not how you elongate a word. <laughs> mm. Yeah, like he's very clearly. It's very clear. It's supposed to be read. You can't notice. Why can't you notice them? But that is. Why can't you notice them? You elongate the part of the word you want to have elongated when spoken. You don't just do the last word. Letter. Fuck. I've been reading a bunch of shit lately that does that. All of it amateurly written. And it's just... It's just, hey, Kate, when you were writing, when you were writing an elongated yes, what letter would you would you duplicate? Uh, I would uh, duplicate majoritively the E, but I would add an extra, like, two Ys and two S's. Exactly. Like, it would be, like, six E's, two Y's, two S's. Exactly. It wouldn't be yes. Not by the long shot. Fucking Christ. Hey, hey. I'm more surprised that you actually noticed them. Huh? Motherfucker, I'm a robot. My guess is my guess is that sensor could probably detect any movement within the tower. So I'll go into sleep mode. And when it reacts, it prevents the door from opening. I knew there'd be at least something like that. Hey. By the way, how good is that census performance? I don't fucking know. <laughs> it's quite high performance. It seems that it can even detect your heartbeats or breathing patterns. I guess Damn, I'm... how do you know? <laughs> we're, we're do you talking have over... a readout, man? We're talking over Wi-Fi. Then... Probably 5G so it can slowly drive them into being Democrats. It'd be completely impossible for someone to stay behind. Hey, hey! What about Nakamaru, the heartless robot? I have a motor running inside me. 
It's as good as a human heart. I feel bad for Nekamaro after that. Yeah, of course you do. <laughs> it's the most sympathetic but character. If you're in sleep mode, that function will come to a stop as well, correct? Jeez. Like you said, if I see all functions with sleep mode, the sensor won't detect it, but... Shushing! Do you need to go that far to test this? I won't tolerate any robo-prejudice. Hey, nobody's judging you for being a robosexual, man. You live your best life. Sorry, you're that's right. Not, that's not what I meant. We all know I'm a team sexual. <laughs> I get off to team events. Exactly. And once I enter sleep mode, I'll not regain consciousness until the good night switch is pressed again or if my chest alarm goes off. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about being left alone in that state. That's actually pretty fair. Yeah, totally. It is far too dangerous, even as an experiment. It is possible that we might violate the laws of robotics. No, no, honey. He's the one who would violate the laws of robotics. The laws of robotics are meant to protect man. Yeah. Then why don't we just, you know, leave any object behind? We're all wearing jackets, backpacks. We have e-handbooks, hairpins, shoes. Motherfuckers, we've got material. Also, if you're that hungry, boil a shoe. <laughs> Wait, are my shoes made out of meat? Leather, but, I mean, it'll keep you going. I'll leave this handbook here and... You know, we'll not be idiots. Are you sure about that? <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Aji, may I leave you my brain cells if I die? <laughs> and if by chance the handbook is still there, we can safely say that the two towers are the same. Left? You're left. Let's try this. <gasps> we right behind Chiaki's e handbook, left away. <laughs> Then we write Grape Tower and made our way to Strawberry Tower. <laughs> oh. Pay our daily respects. Good uh, God bless the ogre. And on we go. Talking to no one because I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to explain to them how. Don't want to voice this. I must say this elevator is rather erect. I mean quiet. It's like the toad's wart. Oh wait, never mind. What? Toad's wart? What's she talking about? It's it doesn't Nagita. feel like we're moving extremely fast. It seems it's moving very slowly. I had to remember who that voice was because I. it's been a little while since I played the game. <laughs> if so, the two houses might be surprisingly close. We're on a well-looped track. They're... Of course they're close. They're the same building. Uh. <laughs> we, we just went over this. There's also you. Oh. Oh. If the towers are connected in the middle, the distance between them shouldn't be that much. You could actually pace off the distance to know how far they are. You know, center of Grape Tower, center of Strawberry Tower estimate. All right. But you have to be intelligent. All right. Let's head over to Strawberry Tower. We're... Hey, look. It's your, it's your bedroom. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Fuck all of you. <laughs> if you press the button next no to this door, dialogue. you should be able to enter the Strawberry Tower. Hey, hey. I'll press it. Stay button mashes. Wait. Step aside, you fiends. W what? Emissary of Evil. I want to play this character in D&D. I don't. I would kill him immediately. I, wa I, want, to I want to play this character in D&D, and I want to play him as a druid. Destruction. PS3. Who just summons animals. Supernova Silver Fox Sandy. <laughs> it's so adorable. Uh, it Press the button. <laughs> Truly, this is the skyline lamentation art of the demon mouse. <laughs> Soon, the door of destiny shall open. Oh, that's it. Are there any canonical hamsters in Magic Gathering? 
You keep running, I'll quickly Google. I think there's one. And it's a token. So while you're Googling, dive. Wow, amazing. Your hamsters are truly skilled. So you have appeared. I see. Your eyes managed to follow Sun D's movements. As expected of the Dark Lady, you have my praise. Amazing! Is she the Dark Lady? Amazing, truly amazing. You must have a strong, trusting relationship with them. Thank you. Aww. Aww. You fucking nerd. There is a hamster monk. <laughs> oh. You didn't need to bother making your hamster press it. Maybe, mm, just as I thought, it's taken a while to open. Hmm. Considering what we discussed earlier. Since it will confirm that nothing is moving inside the tower, then wait for the other door to close. At that moment, I heard a loud sound from the other side of the door. My! Ah! Look over there! Ah! Hans, run! It's the Lurgoy! <laughs> the moment we set foot inside Strawberry Tower. Why is it so shocking? You just confirmed your hypothesis. Yeah, we just, we just spent the last ten <laughs> minutes saying the same thing over and over again about how this is one building. Why are you so shocked by this, Sonia? When I looked at where she was pointing. It's there. The handbook. Yep. Yep, no doubt about it. It's mine. Huh? Is that the... If that's the... He, if that's the handbook, Jackie... I'm <laughs> just going by. It seems we've confirmed it. Yep. Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are actually the same building. Congratulations. I'd give you a cookie, but we don't have any. Oh. And depending on whether you enter from Strawberry Hall or Grape... Yep. <laughs> yep, we, we know this. <laughs> Going through it. Yep, no, stop explaining it. We know this already, goddammit. Uh, <laughs> we already explained this seven times. This is troubling. But it also means we have no idea where the exit is. Hey. Well, I guess it can't be helped. There's no way we'd actually find the exit that easily. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm surprised. I can't believe you just you already uncovered a secret like this. As expected of Chiaki, you are truly amazing. Keep in your you could never be the traitor. Never. <laughs> Normally, all you do is stare into space. But at times like this, you really pull through for us. I hate you. However... <laughs> <laughs> However, why was this building designed so strangely? You're so evil! There's probably no reason. It's simply because it's a fun house. That's all the reason Monokuma needs! Hmm. Um, who are you again? Are you yes. edible? I'm Monomi! Why did you forget about me? That reminds me. Whatever happened to the Monokuma announcement? Huh? What do you mean? Shushin! According to my internal clock, it's already past 10 p.m. Oh my. <coughs> huh? Is that the time already? Uh, fuck, Megamaru's voice kills me. Damn it. Drink some water, bro. Drink some water. Despite that, why hasn't there been a Monokuma announcement? Monokuma! Allow me to answer! Every single day up till now, I have consistently let you know when it's morning and night on this island. And thanks for that, you've been able to live a normal life. You but guys. Did you guys make mistake me for some kind of pretty alarm clock? No, you mistook you for an ugly alarm clock. Ah, well, it's totally true that I'm pretty. Wait, what did you say, you motherfucker? What well, you gonna I'll do, bitch? You. I'll cut you with my bear claws. I ain't broken no school rules, motherfucker. New school rule. Insulting the headmaster is illegal. And ain't an insult if it's true, bitch. Later. <laughs> He's right. Hey, what are you trying to say? Hmm. For the time being, the Monokuman announcements are on hiatus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's a really bad joke. 
But you mean Monokuma in general? But... No, I. They're on hiatus because some allegations are made against the guy who films them. What? It's it's a joke. Like so many fucking bands I listen to have go on hiatus because their lead singer ends up being a fucking monster. You can't go outside, and there are no windows here, so it's not like it matters if it's morning, noon, or night. Also, I've been thinking of a little something to replace the Monokuma announcement. <laughs> I don't like this. What's wrong with him? Well, if there's no announcements, we can at least look, we can just look at the clock. Um, both Strawberry House and Grape House have clocks in their first floor lounges. <laughs> Even if I don't look at a clock, I have my internal clock, so it's no problem for me anyway. I took I key trust mind none feet. of these clocks. I trust none of these clocks because they've all been set by Monokuma. Absolutely not. Like, without being able to see the sun, I trust nothing. Uh, it's already past ten. I'm going to bed. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Since we don't have food, it might be better if we rest and conserve our energy. I mean, sleeping for upwards of 16 hours a day would mitigate hunger. For now, let's decide room assignments. Room assignments? <laughs> Not the top class room, please and thank you, dear fucking god. Each house has five guest rooms, so we should decide first who... <laughs> Why don't we make things simple and split them between boys and girls? Yes. Yes, let us do that. So it's... Sonia Chiaki... And fucking Akane. They probably think Nagido's a girl. Man. That's a bummer. Well, I guess it makes sense. This too must then be the ladies first. Cost. Now then, let us begin. Choose which house you would like. <laughs> he called them kittens. He did. Uh, let's, let's just choose Grape House. Staring at a red room is just going to strain my eyes. Oh. Yeah, I never played the virtual play. One console. Then the men shall have Strawberry House. Strawberry men are known for passion. Hey. Also, each house had guest rooms of varying quality, right? Dog shit one for me, please. Right. Wasn't it two deluxe rooms, one standard room, and two crummy rooms? For crummy, now. please. Uh, and th and we need to decide those next, huh? Can't we just divide off? But there are only five like, rooms in each house, right? Then one guy will be left over. Sure. That means there's only one appropriate way to settle this. One of the guys gets to sleep in the spare room in the girl's house? No, one guy needs to die. <laughs> appropriate way. John Ken Pony! Suddenly, the rock, paper, scissors battle between six men had begun. And the girls are just saying, they're like, why didn't we just invite one of them into our dorm? Eh, no, don't let them duel. No, this is, you gotta remember, this is this is Japanese high schools. If men and women stay, stay in the same room for too long, they'll just get pregnant spontaneously and explode. <laughs> uh, sorry I ended up winning so easily. That's right. I totally forgot. Nagito is the ultimate lucky student. Totally forgot that Nagito is a cheating bastard. So I take second place. That's fine. I was getting bored of always being on top. I bet oh, you Oh, so were. you want to be a power bottom. Got it. <laughs> it's decided. You two will get a deluxe room, suckers. <laughs> Losers. No, I'd then. rather sleep on the couch than take one of those rooms. Fuck yeah. No, then. Regarding the third winner... Yeah, it's me. I'm oh, sorry. Let me reword that in the way they in the way they probably do it. It's me. <laughs> they did it right this time. This time. I'll be resting in the standard room. Damn right. Me and Kazuichi are next. Come <laughs> on, Jimmy got fucked. <laughs> oh, I get a crummy room, huh? Well, it's better than rooming with someone. Fuck Was you, you piece of shit. Yeah. How's about fuck you there, bud? <laughs> That's unfortunate, Hajime. You can rest in the lounge, but try not to catch a cold. Hey, anybody in the fucking fancy rooms, could I borrow one of your 70,000 sheets? <laughs> and maybe a pillow? I'll take the one you use for your feet. 
the dots Padre's are just just done with this bullshit. Hey. Just fucking over it. Hey, how about you grape house girls? Did you all pick your rooms as well? Yep. Yeah, we did. We had a brief brief discussion and settled things logically instead of, you know, like stupid boys doing a competition. Ah, Akane is the only one with taste. Goddamn right. Sonia, Sonia and I have deluxe rooms, and apparently Akane wants one of the crummy rooms. Huh? Huh? Why'd you choose the crummy room? There's still a standard room left over. It's not like that. It's good enough for me. You guys might think it's pretty crappy, but it's a palace compared to my home. Oh, don't make me feel bad. Oh, so you. there's a standard room and a crummy room left. Hajime, <laughs> if you would like, please use one of them. Oh, hells yeah, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna get me some. <laughs> just to say, some bed. Room. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! You, you can't do that. Oh, if anyone's gonna get laid, it should be me. I mean, <laughs> why, why not? Because I'm a tier three sub. <laughs> well, I mean, it's dangerous. How'd you might be the trader? You know? How's about you fuck off there, bud? Um, <laughs> what are you saying? Me, Sonia. What, what am I... Huh? Huh? So... We haven't doubted Hajime at all, you dumb fucker. You goddamn right you haven't. Like... Even I don't know. Even I don't think he tried to trick us. <laughs> Damn! The girls are so much better than the dudes. Hell yes, bro. <laughs> it seems you're the only one who thought Hajime was suspicious. Oh shit, the boys are calling him out now. <laughs> Get fucked, my guy. Really? Of all people, you're gonna say that? You're really gonna say that? Right? Glad you man. You can use one of our leftover rooms. Tight. We'll treat you better. Don't worry. Thank you. I'll feel bad about using the standard room, so I'll stay in the crummy room, baby! Let's go! <laughs> Best room in the building! But even so, it really helps to have a place to sleep. Oh! Now then, it's decided. We should turn in for today. Aw, oh, man. Like, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Why did he get picked over me? Man, nice guys do finish last. <laughs> You'd have to be a nice guy, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> and so, all the guys, except for me, ended up staying the night on the second floor of the Strawberry House. All the girls, plus my leftover self, stayed in the second floor of Grape House. Oh, jeez. Just as I thought, I was forgotten. Nobody gives a shit about you, Monami. I do. I like her. Well, I'm used to it after all. <laughs> what was that? Does she Is she building a degradation kink? What the fuck? I think so, she might be. This is the second floor of Grape House. <laughs> Choosing Grape House was definitely a good decision. I mean, we'd go mad looking at Red all day. Hmm? What do you mean? Um... You see, Strawberry House is a crowd quadra... <laughs> is a square, but Grape House is a rec... is a rec... is a hexagon. <laughs> Lord, I cannot talk today! <laughs> oh my god! What's oh. my voice, Sonya? Oh I... my god. That was... That oh, was man. bad. That was bad, yeah. That was bad. Oh. That means this place is far more spacious. It's quite a good bargain. For a princess. You sure think about you sure th you sure do think about practical stuff. Eh. This ain't petty, bitch. This is We are looking for square footage. <laughs> and for that you need a hexagon. Exactly. A quadrilateral will not give you the same square footage as a hexagon. It, they have to operate op, occupy close to the same footprint, and the hexagon's just going to give you more space. Exactly. If you're out there apartment shopping, look for hexagons. All else fails. Can I tell you about my condominium? I call it the bee house. Yeah. All else fails. You can go out into the woods and find one of those weird fucking. I, I'm not gonna lie. I spent a couple nights going back and forth between university at a, at like one of my dorm mates' houses, and they lived in a straight up like dodecagon beehive thing. Cool. Sleepy. Ah, uh, so sleepy. Goddamn, girl. 
Aren't you may carry me to bed so I don't have to walk? My legs are useless. Is your shit hydrophobic? You'll be bleeding through all your shirts. <laughs> the locker rooms are the too far back. Uh, left? Is it okay if we... Fuck you guys. Yeah. <laughs> the two rooms are in front of the crappy rooms, right? Hajime, use the one next to the lounge. Then... That way I can't be woken up. Those so a standard room across from the lounge will remain unoccupied. Easy as pie. I shall prepare nameplates for our rooms later. I shall also include portraits of everyone's faces. With what? How, what? What? What do you have, woman? I am a princess. I have what I need. Do you have some <coughs> food? No. I do not need food. I run off of the worship of my servants. <laughs> well, shit, with Kazuichi around, you'll be fed all day. Exactly. Why do you think I keep denying the simp bastard? <laughs> <laughs> you really don't need to draw our faces. But the nameplates <laughs> might be a good idea. <laughs> if the mystery of this fucking case is the same thing as the fucking first case, the first game, where someone switches their goddamn nameplates. I will shit live on stream. <laughs> We'd have to be live streaming that. Exactly. Oh God. If I, if I don't do the thing I promise, I can never promise anything, motherfucker. <laughs> After reaching the limits of her sleepiness, Chucky staggered over to a deluxe room. She fell face first into the doorknob, but opened it up with her forehead. <laughs> okay. Now then, I shall retire for this evening as well. Good night. <laughs> good night. See you tomorrow. After exchanging good Man, nights. Man, this side of the dorm is going to be easy on our throats. <laughs> <laughs> I know you didn't mean it that way. <laughs> <laughs> After exchanging oh. good nights, everyone went to their guest rooms. Fucking Christmas, I didn't even think of it that way. I should get some sleep too. Oh. Um, I think I was assigned to the crummy room next to this next to the lounge. Go into one of the high class rooms, see if you get thrown out. They're both next to the lounge. Uh, oh no, right. she means right next. Because that's the other crummy room. Yeah, fuck it. No, go into one of the... I don't want to deal with them right now. Ah, fine. You might have talked in circles about how they decided which room was yours. Fuck no. This is a surprisingly shabby guest room. Honestly, it's not bad. Yeah, I mean, the fact that you're in a dark void of fucking perpetual rainstorm is weird, but I mean, it's not going to the floor. Hey, that'd help me sleep. Yeah, and it's not going to the floor. better wet. when it's raining. It's a little cold in here. The draft is coming in. The draft coming in from the door is making me hungry. What? <laughs> well, that's easily fixed. We've got little towels on the floor. Roll them up and wedge them into the cracks. Reduce the draft. I. I okay. But I shouldn't be talking like that. For now, I need to endure it, no matter what. No matter what happens. I'll definitely prevent a killing from happening. Uh, start the clock. <laughs> I won't let Monokuma get what he wants. The Talk very soon. next morning. I don't know how to speak this. Yeah, it's Morse I think code. This is, yeah, I think this is Morse code. Don't know what it says. Do either of us feel like pulling up a Morse code translator? Nope. Cool. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I'm out of ideas. This concludes the Monokuma Theater. <laughs> Morse code edition. Did you hear what he said? No, I did not. To tell you the truth, I'm out of ideas. Ha! Ah! Oh god, now I'm speaking Morse code. <laughs> it's morning already? Now that there are no Monokuma announcements, I don't feel like my usual self anymore. There should be a Go back to sleep. There should be a clock in the lounge. I should go over there and see what time it is. I should find There's the no dead body. No point in being awake during any of this. Oh, damn. Dang. 
She got them done quick. Yeah, she didn't sleep. And she hand drew pixel art. That's impressive. I can't do pixel art even with a guide. Let's see, the time is... The hands have been removed from the clock. 9 a.m. It's later than I'm used to waking up, but I guess it still counts this morning. Yeah, what? I'm feeling called out. I didn't wake up at 11.30 today. I didn't wake up at 1 today. Of course, I do. You, you were up before 1. I joke, but I'm. it, it is not beyond the realm of possibility for me to be, for me to have, be like, wake up at, like, 1 or 3 or 7 in the after, or 7 in the evening. Goddamn morning people. And it's like, oh, 9 a.m., that's so late. Oh, God, 7 a.m., that's so late in the day. I'm usually up at 5. It's like, well, good for you, bitch. Go get your worm. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll be the night owl and catch the worm when he's drunk. Then I get some food and I get a little booze. Oh, fuck the worm. I'll just get them. <laughs> now then, what should I do now? Go back to bed. In this kind of situation, panicking will accomplish nothing. Go back to bed. If might... you bore Monokuma, he'll have to do something which might tip his hand. It might be better if I spend time like I normally do, for, long as I, for as long as I can. I should find someone to talk to. Or it might be a good idea to just stay in my room and conserve my energy. Ooh, free time. Yes, yeah, so we'll get into this free time next time. Oh, thank you for joining us. We'll be back. More of this. Till that, though, I'm dead. I'm Cave. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Have a wonderful time. Excuse me while I whip this out. Whoa.